Hey, this is Ernesto, and today let's take a look at Guitar Rig 6 Pro from Native Instruments. Guitar Rig 6 Pro intends to be a multi-effects rack and amp simulator for creative production, with the emphasis on multi-effects. Native Instruments, they stuffed Guitar Rig 6 with 68 effects and tools, and you get 21 amps that you'll be left wondering how many more plugins you actually need. It's clear that Guitar Rig 6 Pro wants every music maker to find the tone that they're looking for. So you can easily find a tone that's warm, or crunchy or fuzzy and the tones go on. If you use plugins from Native Instruments, you'll come across some effects that you're already familiar with, like the Mod Series, Replica Delay, RC24 and 48, just to name a few. Which is great because instead of having to learn a whole new set of plugins, some of these effects will help you feel right at home. And when it comes to this many effects in one plugin, I'm often a less is more kind of guy. When I first opened up this plugin, I was overwhelmed with all the options there were. I would even dare say that I wish I would have left out some of the less compelling effects. But after a few sessions, I started to discover my go-tos, and the search bar on the left is always great at helping you find the right effect. Now, many of us, myself included, we're gonna grab Guitar Rig and just use presets. There's hundreds of them, and some of them were designed by living legends like Jesse C from Maroon 5 and Phil Collin from Def Leppard. But for those of you who want much more control and customization, you won't be disappointed because there's enough depth to this plugin. So besides trying out different combinations of amps, cabs, and effects, there's two main ways that you can dive deeper into Guitar Rig 6 Pro. The first is by clicking this little hex knob thing on the effects components. You'll see that as I'm clicking them, some effects will have more advanced knobs than others. Um, so in this case, what I'm going to do is go to my replica and I would love to have more stereo width in the panning. And then uh, twin delay will increase the feedback here. And then add more treble to the reverb, sure. Cool. And the, the second thing you can do is click the modifier tab here in the components. And you have these little modifiers that adds all kinds of modulation to pretty much every knob inside a guitar rig. So what I would like to do is grab LFO and then uh, let's switch over to a sine wave. And you cl click and drag this guy here and move it, uh, I'll move to the mix and we'll also move it to feedback. Cool. It's going a little bit wild, a little too much, so click the hex knob once again on the modifier. And you can control the range. So this, that's a lot of modulation happening. Let's drop it by quite a bit. So although Guitar Rig 6 Pro seems like a preset machine made for lazy producers like me, with these two methods in mind, Guitar Rig 6, it offers much more than presets, and it's ready for you to do your worst. By the way, if you're finding this review helpful, please consider liking this video. But like this video, it's just a quick and easy way for you to support this channel. Thanks. Now, I'm sure in the past, Guitar Rig was best suited for guitars, but now with everything this plugin has to offer, guitars are simply just one of the many instruments that you want to try this plugin on. Seriously, try this plugin with anything. Try it on bass. Or synths. even vocals. Lately I've been losing my direction. I know, I know, I know. Cause I've been trapped inside this Now I hope that Native Instruments keeps developing amps and effects that are better suited for instruments outside a guitar. But if that were to happen, would it even make sense to keep calling this guitar rig in the first place? Okay, before I get to my final thoughts, how much does this thing cost and where can you get it? At full price, Guitar Rig 6 Pro is $199 US or $99 US if you're upgrading from a previous version. You can also try a free demo, link down below for that. And if you're planning on picking this up, please consider clicking my affiliate link in the description. These affiliate sales, they really help me get closer to going full time with this YouTube channel. So thank you very much. All right, here's my final thoughts. What's this dozens of amps and effects with this in-depth customization and the way that it can just work with most instruments out there. Native instruments, they've created such a fun and I would dare say essential tool for music production. Sure, I wish I would have left out some of the effects that aren't too exciting and instead replace them with effects more geared towards non-guitar instruments, but who knows, maybe we'll be surprised by a future update or maybe I'm asking too much from an already excellent plugin. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking this video so other music makers can find it. Later.